The Arctic is warming at an unprecedented rate. New research, which draws upon recently declassified data collected by U.S. nuclear submarines traveling under the Arctic ice cap for the last 50 years, have, gives, have given us for the first time a three-dimensional view of the ice cap, and researchers at the Naval Postgraduate School have told us that the entire Arctic ice cap, which for most of the last three million years has covered an area the size of the lower 48 states, may completely and totally disappear in summer in as little as five years. For, almost half of the ice in the Arctic uh, cap has already melted during the last 20 years. The dark ocean, once uncovered, absorbs 90 percent of the solar heat that used to bounce off the highly reflective ice. As a direct consequence, some of the vast amounts of frozen carbon in the permafrost in the land surrounding the Arctic Ocean are beginning to be released as methane as the frozen tundra thaws, threatening a doubling of global warming pollution in the atmosphere unless we take action quickly. Melting of the Greenland ice sheet has reached a new record, which was a staggering 60 percent above the previous high in 1998. The most recent 11 summers there have all experienced melting greater than the average of the past 35-year time series. Glacial earthquakes have been increasing on Greenland as the meltwater tunnels down through the ice to the bedrock below. Were the Greenland ice sheet to melt, crack up, and slip into the North Atlantic, sea level worldwide would rise almost 20 feet. We already know that the Antarctic Peninsula is warming at three to five times the global average rate. At the time when I participated in one of the first hearings on global warming on this committee in the 1970s, a researcher warned that an early alarm bell that this uh, crisis was reaching emergency proportions would be if we saw the breakup of large ice sheets on the Antarctic Peninsula. That's why the Larsen, the, and this warming has already caused the Larsen B ice shelf, which was the size of Rhode Island, to collapse. Several other ice shelves have also collapsed in the, tw in the last 20 years. Another large shelf, the Wilkins Ice Shelf, which is roughly the size of Northern Ireland, is now beginning to disintegrate right before our very eyes. A recent study in the journal Science has now confirmed that the entire West Antarctic ice sheet is warming. Scientists have told us that if it were to collapse and slide into the sea, we would experience global sea level rise of another 20 feet. Each meter of sea level increase leads to 100 million climate refugees. Recent studies have shown that many coastal areas in the United States are at risk, particularly southern Florida and southern Louisiana. Also, carbon dioxide pollution